essentially it. So maybe we've got to, you know, lessen the volume. Who knows? Um, but, but us as players, we've got to be more professional uh, and, and understand our jobs, understand where we're supposed to be, and, and do that time and time again and keep our focus. When Dak said this, he's talking about CD, and I don't have no picks. He's right. CD, ha CD, CD Lamb has to grow up. He has to be more professional. I love CD Lamb. Nobody loves CD Lamb more than me. But how he acted after the fumble, didn't talk to the media after the game, he has to grow up. Let's talk about this game. Yo, what's going on, Cowboys fans? It's your boy, Fuster King. Ah! You're on a two-game losing streak, but you still have a lot of football left. I don't like coming and talking to you guys after losses, but I do. It's, 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 it's part of my job. It's part of why you guys love this channel, and it's part of why I love you. I, 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 there's times I'm at a loss for words, and I got to be honest, this is not a video where there's a bunch of graphics. This is just me talking to the camera. Some things that, I, when I watched this football team and I watched early on in that game, I knew Dallas was going to lose. Did they make it interesting? Yes. Did they fight? Yes. There were some things that Tober did. There were some things that Turpin did that I said, okay, I've been calling for those guys to play better, and they did. They, they, they showed up in a sense, right? But ultimately, those first two drives from the Ravens let me know that Dallas just came out. I won't even say flat again, just defensively they're just not good enough to stop the run. And 275 yards rushing, you're not going to beat teams like that. So we're going to talk about that. But before we do, shout out to our dynamic sponsors, BetUS. That game, the line was kind of like right around where the line should have been. BetUS, BetUS, use YouTube code BET150, um, excuse me, YouTube150. All your betting needs. Bet US have a great game on tonight. Washington versus Cincy. Obviously, we're rooting for Cincy. Got to stay in the NFC East race. Even when you watch the NFC East, it was interesting watching Philly win a game that they probably shouldn't have. And of course, the Saints come back to life right on key, right on, right on cue. But I just, I don't think that there's a real true great team in the NFC East. I think that the Cowboys can still win the NFC East, but they got to get this thing going, and they weren't able to get it going against Baltimore. So let's talk about this game. Baltimore came out playing like a team that was desperate. They came out playing like an 0-3. I mean, they came out playing like an 0-2 team that couldn't go 0-3. You got to remember, this team went to an AFC championship last year. They still have – championship moxie they still have a mvp and i thought early on especially lamar jackson showed why he was an mvp candidate the guy is he's a joystick man like he had our defense stressed all game i thought demarcus lawrence broke contain a lot i thought that michael parsons broke contain a lot i thought that mozzie smith doesn't even look like at times he belongs on the football field and then you add derrick henry to the mix who for me against a championship defense like Kansas City, Derrick Henry's not going to do much against, you know, a, a good defensive line. Probably when they play Philly, you know, a defensive line that can set the line of scrimmage and reset the line of scrimmage and really press and do certain things. Derrick Henry's not going to do much. But against this Cowboys defensive line, which we know, we know the Cowboys defensive line is struggling. It is what it is. The Cowboys defensive line just right now isn't good. There's no need to keep whining about or crying about it. This is the team that you have. They're not good. So against us, Derrick Henry looked like Derrick Henry of old. Long runs, stiff arming Kalen Carson into the sidelines, like just all of that type of stuff. But those first two drives really lost the game. I it, It's starting to look like the game might be too big for Kalen Carson. I mean, it's tough. You know, you're coming from Wake Forest – and you come in this game, just a routine tackle, you miss that tackle, and Nelson Aguilar is already in the red area. So, like, things like that, that's why you lost the game. Um, the D-line is just completely out of whack. They're out of whack. And at this point, there's nobody else to go in. There's no – who who are you going to bring in? Who? Tell me. So, 
The D line is out of whack. The linebacker play is out of whack. No linebacker yesterday really stood out to me. You guys let me know. I rewatched the TV copy. Now I'll watch the All 22 again and just kind of comb through the film. But no linebacker yesterday stood out to me. Not one. And then Donovan Wilson. We got to have a, a serious conversation about Donovan Wilson. I just, he doesn't belong on the field right now. Will this staff bench him? It's only three games, and that's what they'll say. And so they'll continue to say, we're, we're fine. We play the Giants on Thursday. Let's see how it looks. But Donovan Wilson, for me, doesn't look like he belongs on this football field. It is what it is. Donovan Wilson, he looks a tick slow. He doesn't look great in coverage. He he looks lost. He just doesn't look good anymore. That happens. Like, Donovan Wilson played some really good years. But right now, he – there's clearly a better option on the bench, and the Cowboys have to think about that. I, I like Donovan Wilson. I think that he's been one of the more physical players for this Cowboys team. He's come. He's he's he's, he's done his job. He's been a lunch pail guy. But ultimately, Donovan Wilson, he's just not good right now. We got to be honest before the season slips away. The season is still in hand. The season is still intact, but we got to be honest. A few players just – they got to be woken up. It is what it is. And then we go to the offensive side of the ball. I just, for the life of me, Deuce Vaughn getting carried. You might as well just cut Zeke. Deuce Vaughn getting carries early in the game, I don't want to see it. it th- there's literally no point. I, I don't want to see it. And I got to call out 88. 88, you fumbled. Man, everything should be about get back. 88, you can't be on the sideline whining with Zach and Dak. Like, something is not right with those two. And now it's it's looking like you paid the guy, and now he's in his head. Now he's – and I love CeeDee Lamb. That's the problem. Like, I don't think that CeeDee Lamb is a a T.O. type of guy. I don't think that he's a a diva. But I do think that he's now starting to turn into a crybaby. And that's just what it is. I don't don't put him in the diva role. I don't put him in the diva lane. But he's tur- he, he's acting like a crybaby. Like, and my thing is, bro, you make a mistake, and that's why Dak made that comment about being professional. You make a mistake, bro, own it. Say it's on me. It's okay. But when you when you can't have it both ways, and that's these players are so mentally fragile. They are. Make they whine and crying. Trayvon Diggs, he's on. Twitter, apologizing the fan base. Bro, we don't need your apology. I don't need an apology from, from these guys. Go play better football. What are you going on Twitter? What's that going to change? Go play better football, Micah. Go maybe take a week off from the podcast. And I like Micah. I don't mind him doing a podcast, right? I don't. But at the end of the day, be accountable. These dudes, all these young players, they're so mentally weak. They are. And it starts with CeeDee Lamb. Like, bro, you can't. After you play bad, not talk to the media. So, I say all that to say this team has an identity crisis when it comes to leadership and when it comes to accountability. They got to fix that part before they can start winning football games again. This team has an identity crisis when it comes to leadership and accountability. They have to fix that part before they can start winning football games. Cowboys lose 28-25. I'll be breaking down film. You guys let me know what you think. As always, thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Have a great week. Attack the week. We still got a long season, y'all. Peace.